I love this uh, story I heard you tell about how you almost got pitched as Jared's <laughs> oafish, slobbish, younger, meatball-eating brother. <laughs> and I, I, I love this story so much because basically you were like, you thought it was your big break. I knew it was my big break. <laughs> right. I knew I was 25. Mm. Imagine you're 25, mm -hmm. you're doing a day job here. Mm -hmm. What were you doing at the time? I was working in post as a uh, oh. on reality shows. Really? You were editing? No, I wasn't editing. I was um, at first. I was a logger, like transcribing. What is a logger? There's so many jobs at yeah, post. I even know it's that crazy. Is. <laughs> it's the worst job. You want to blow Just your brains writing out. Shit. No, no, they send you the raw tape. So they, you know, when they shoot a reality that show, twenty four footage? seven cameras run. So they send you every single tape comes in, and is transcribed verbatim, so that when the story department puts together a reality show, an episode, they can manipulate all the footage so to, you're just to fill the storyline. Every dumb thing they said. If you wow. say, I don't know, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll go. I have to write. I don't know. Oh uh, I, like that. Wow. And then you know they they do these things called Franken bites. Right. You know that's where you cut. A line mid sentence and piece something else together to it so that that's you can so say funny that it's an actual <laughs> term because we Franken bits because we always say like this is a Frankenstein sequence you know when we have an episode when we just fucked it up totally yeah, yeah. I mean, they're building them all they do yeah. horrific stuff with it you know because you would say like I love Shredder and then I hate you know I pumpkin don't know pie. pumpkin pie. And then they'll cut it to be like, I hate Shredder. And, wow. like, and then everyone in the audience is like, that guy hates his dog. And then they show you know? reactions from other people from a different clip. Being oh like, my God. Yeah, exactly. And then that's, that's the episode that airs. And then the reaction people are like, because, oh my God. I always yeah. think about that because it's like you're filming people doing nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got, it needs work. It yeah. It needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of work. And those, there's people who in that lane, that is their specialty. <laughs> The, you know, it's the story department wow. on reality Dr. shows. Frankenstein. They fucking Frankenbite so that shit up. So you were just typing. So I'm that? just typing uhs and ums. Yeah. And <laughs> it really sounds like really rough. It's horrible. And I'm doing stand up <laughs> at night, and then going on sometimes on commercial auditions. Hmm. And I go on this one, <laughs> and uh, I got a call back, which I thought was cool. And then they're like, "Hey, this isn't just for a commercial. This is for a campaign. Hmm. Meaning this will be airing." Everywhere. Massively and all the time and it'll build and grow and then the next thing they tell me is like it's gonna be it's with subway and the idea is You're gonna be Jared's brother Jared Fogle from subway and and Jared because he lost like 500 pounds can only promote healthy subs <laughs> and we need someone that can promote unhealthy subs love that angle and so you much. look like you can do that I love that I angle. love yeah. how it's like so direct like and at first you know when they told here. me that I was like yeah great <laughs> and they're like so he'll be like get the turkey sub and you'll be like get the chicken parm and like <laughs> that'll be the ad yeah and then they go and you're gonna be like his derelict <laughs> fucking psycho brother so I go to this one audition where this is like now the third or fourth, because this is a <laughs> huge commitment mm -hmm. from them. This one, it's like all improv, and they're having me improvise, <laughs> and with like this director who. What do you do? They have you. Do you know what your outfit would have been? No, because at, at first they just go, oh, they're just like you know, just show up and you're a pig basically, you know. <laughs> so I'm just wearing a t-shirt, and and jeans and and I'm riffing and I and I remember my friend drove me to the audition. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't know why he drove me, but he was outside and I left. And he goes, you're booking this job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I go, why? He goes, man, they were laughing in there so hard. And I was like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. So we leave and then I have another callback and it's with the director and it's just weird. It just doesn't, it's just weird. He's like, <laughs> like, do what I tell you to do, do, okay? Be like, uh, hey, yeah, this tastes pretty good. Go ahead. You want me to say, yeah. hey, that tastes pretty hey, no, good? No, no, no. Say, hey, that tastes pretty good. Hey, that. No, say, hey, like, hey, like, hey, that oh, tastes yeah. pretty good. Hey. Hey, that tastes hey. pretty good. That's how he's talking oh, to me hey. during it. So I'm like, I'm sitting there like, uh, this guy's cutting me off every other sentence <laughs> to say, like, things taste good, you know? Like, it's not like I'm doing a take and he's like, try it from this angle. He's doing line reads as I do them. So I just go, all right. And I walk out of there. I'm like, that was one of the weirdest experiences. It just huh. didn't feel... You know, like human this, interaction. No, and it wasn't good chemistry. It wasn't good a good vibe. I leave, whatever. And the next day, mm -hmm. uh, I get a call, and they're like, "So, we heard it didn't go well in there." 
And I was like, um, <laughs> what did I, they want from you? I don't it's know. Like, what could you have done? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> All right. Tastes you, good. You go <laughs> I started to do it like that. Like, like, <laughs> like <He's> a... <laughs> tastes really good. Is that it? And so then they're like, um, but you did so well on the audition before that. And the producers and the advertisers are so on board with you from that. That you booked it. I, I love that like, they're like the director <laughs> yeah, hates you. The director hates you, but you got the job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they go. I'll just tell you. I don't think I've ever said it, but so the the, the what I got was a guarantee of two hundred fifty grand oh. for the whole campaign. No, no, no. Just like be, for shooting this and having one air. Wow. Wow. But that's then a, that's some cheddar. Then as soon as the residuals exceed. So no more money until the residuals exceed 250, and then you get residual checks, mm. and then I'll start getting checks uh, for live appearances where Jared and I will go that to like is Subway. So insane, <laughs> insane. And Jared holds up his pants. What did they pay for live uh, appearance? I don't know. I think they were saying like you were going to get something like 10 or 15 grand a pop. Just to show up. But mind you, your Subway thing. I'm 25 years yeah, old transcribing that's things. That's huge. Oh, you know, I'm getting, like, I'm getting like 600 dollars a week to do that. Yeah. So. When I when they book it, they go, you know, I, I'm kind of waiting for it to come together. And then they decide we're going to start shooting commercials in Jersey. They fly me out. We shoot three commercials over the course of like a week. What were you wearing? I'm really curious. <laughs> so the first ad. Were they just like, be yourself? Oh, man. If, you know. Um, <laughs> no, they're like, hey. <laughs> you know that song, Round and Round? Yeah. Round and yeah. Round. I forget who sings right, that. Round, baby, right? You guys, they'll tell us. Not right, right not right, baby. Oh. But, uh, round. It's like a Isn't rock it rat song. or something? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Rat. Yes. So I pull up in a Trans Am. This song is playing. And they're having a family reunion. And I pull up. That song's playing. And I have like a leather vest on, wow. and like maybe like a like a leather wrist thing and wow. some chains. Love it. And oh as I God. pull into the, it's like a park, mm -hmm. and they're having the family reunion. I kind of half pull onto a curb, you know, like I pull too <laughs> far. It. Yeah. And then I get out. and I'm like, you're almost like a bad boy. Yeah, kind of a bad boy, but Little totally chicken, chicken parmesan eating bad boy. Yeah, <laughs> the chicken <laughs> parm bad right. boy, <laughs> kind of, uh, but also <laughs> lost and kind of. I'm like. Where's everybody at? You know, you know like what's weird about this angle? Yeah. Like, who's going to want to be that guy? They're like, eat chicken parm like this guy. Right. It's a weird angle. That is a weird angle. And like... You want to be this guy? And kind of... And he and they're kind of... Not kind of. They are being... Telling me, like, be be dumb. You're kind of the... <laughs> you're the goofy brother. Right. That's like... That hasn't seen Jared in a while. Of course, <laughs> you're, the name... You're, you're estranged from the family. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the name. And now you just came back to eat bad food. <laughs> so, oh, that's so funny. And then, of course, they gave me... Uh, oh, the name. Yeah. <laughs> you're Jared's brother, Jerome. That story um, is so funny. And, which is, you know... And, and I, the fact that I brought up to them, I was like... Eh, that's a black That was a risky name. play. I have to say, were you nervous about bringing up? Because you said to the producers or the director... Yeah. Jerome seems like a black name. Yeah, Just let you guys know. Yeah, so they came back with Jermaine. No, or they. <laughs> I was. I was not nervous to tell them that. I was not nervous. You felt like you were doing the right thing. I just thought I was. I go like we're about to launch onto a. This is going to be what people yell at me on the street for years. <laughs> right, right. And you know they told me they go you know we're shooting three right now. We're slated to do ten. If these have any, these are Jared's in them. So if this is following the trajectory, mm. you're just gonna be shooting like. 30 commercials a year or whatever your life. for a year. And I'm like, Jerome? I'm like, dude, come on. Right. So I just told him, like, dude, that's a black guy's name. Like, right. it is. And, I mean, I know the the people would be like, it could be anybody's name. That's true. So can Connor. That could be anybody's name. But <laughs> sure. it's not. It's yeah. a fucking white guy's name. Yeah. So <laughs> they go, all right, uh, you know. <laughs> We'll think about it. We'll talk. I don't. Know, we'll talk to you. And then they came back, and they were like, "We think you're right." I love that they, they yeah. the great minds came yeah. together. The subway minds. They crunched the number. <laughs> They're like yeah. we have indeed confirmed that we have confirmed. Excuse black. Excuse black. <laughs> um, you nailed it. <laughs> Anyone could have it. Yeah, but it's but excuse black. Excuse black. Yeah, we got you a new name. My name's Jermaine. <laughs> so funny. And I just I sat there, and I was like, <laughs> I go. Are you serious? And they they go, yeah. I'm like, this is ten times blacker. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, that's your name. 
Final answer. Final answer. Jermaine's here, everybody. Made it worse. Yeah. <laughs> Way worse. <laughs> Which was like, okay. So then we just, uh, we shot that one in the park. Then we shot one where I was like, oh, yeah. I remember um, uh, I was having, a, I had a basement band. I was mm. like, guys, come on. And like, you know, I had the, like, we were just like a shitty basement band. I was mm-hmm. the lead man. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, Jer would show up and be like, what are you doing, Jermaine? <laughs> and I'm like, fucking let's eat. <laughs> I don't remember how it went. <laughs> let's eat, But Jared. We, we shot oh my God. that one. I'm trying to remember there was another one. And then it was just, um, you know, then you're just like playing the waiting game. Like I flew back. Mm-hmm. I'm like, they pay for those? Cause... Well, you, I got paid all the, the day rate stuff okay. to do those. The 250 grand, I would get as soon as the first one right, aired. Right. Mm-hmm. And it was like a few months later, and I remember one of my friends texted me. He was like, sucks about Subway. He found out before oh. you? Uh-huh. Really? And I go, what do you mean? He's like, uh, <laughs> you're not doing those ads. I'm like, how do you know that? <laughs> Wait, was this the sex scandal? No. Oh. No, this is way That's, before that. How did that. he know? I don't know how he found out. But what happened was the VP of marketing yeah. retired. Oh. The new VP came in and... Wasn't down with it? Well, he just killed everything that that guy was doing. Wow. Oh. It was the greatest thing that ever happened he to me. He wasn't like, this shit is insane. <laughs> no, like, no. Now. They were just like, I have, we're a new, there's a new marketing team. And that's it's very common right. in huh. corporate world where if the new guy doesn't want your old idea to succeed, yeah. you know, he wants it to be on yeah. on him. Yeah. So, and, especially, and if it sucks, he, can, he can't be, you know, he got to be like, oh, I... I scratched that. Yeah. But anyways, I informed my agent. I called him and I was like, so the subway thing's not happening? He goes, what the fuck are you talking about? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, I just read this article. And then he called me back. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I just called him. And they Did that break me. your heart? At the time? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it wasn't like this, you know, life-changing breakup thing. Where, I, But I remember just being like, wow, that was right here and it's gone. Yeah. 200,000. Like, I mean, my God. Yeah. That... But in retrospect, surely you're just like, thank Come God. Come on, Jermaine. Jermaine. Everybody would be like, eat fresh, man. As I walk down the streets and I'm right. like, yep. But yeah. not only that, I mean, you'd be associated with oh, yeah. the greatest. Fogel. The greatest Fogel of all time. <laughs> Mr. Fogel. I hung out with him after one of those shoots. Oh, you get a weird vibe? What was Fogel like in person? Yeah, I mean, not, I, I can't, I mean, he's not. Not just like a normal just, loose dude, kind. Of, you know, I don't know how to describe. I mean, I mean he's one of those guys that should have never became famous. Anyway. Yeah, it's weird that he's so famous. It's like, what's mm-hmm. interesting? And I think about it's you. right. Uh, um, I think he's just so used to being probably looked at mm-hmm. and asked for a picture or something, <laughs> and there's not a lot behind that. Yeah. You know, you know, it's just because he lost weight and he's on these commercials. So yeah, he's just kind of like. What did you think when you heard those tapes? Were you like surprised, or were you like, Ooh. dude? I just remember. I remember. You know, the I rem- the things I remember was that like for the for the commercials that I got a shitty trailer, like a real shitty one, and he had like a multi million dollar bus. God. And he was like, "Do you want to come on this bus?" And I was like, "I want to see it for sure." Yeah, yeah. And I got on. I remember he just had. It was in the summer in Jersey that we were shooting these commercials, and his his bus had like sixty degree AC on it, and I was like, "Can I stay in here?" That's for a while? Yeah. It was. I remember that was amazing. And then I remember his friend was with him, and he was uh, complaining about that the subway execs were talking about how he was gaining weight. Oh, they were they were upset. Mama. They were like, "I love that." They're like, "It's bullshit, man." <laughs> it was, he's like, "You look great, Jared." To, to Jared, you know, he's like, <laughs> "He's got yes men." He's got yes men being like, "You're not fat." <laughs> he's got wow. a posse. Yeah, and then he goes, "Do you want to split a pizza?" Jared <laughs> asked me. That's for real. Yeah, and I go, "Okay, <laughs> I'm the fat one. Yeah, I can. <laughs> so eat I can eat pizza all I yeah. want." So we were at the W Hotel, and he ordered Pizza Hut. Wow. Yeah. I bet there was something in his contract was like, you can't eat pizza. Of course. Yeah. 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 And they were like, you can't be seen eating other fast foods. Mm. Anything like that. What the fuck? That whole Jared phenomenon is so crazy. Like, they're treating him like royalty. He's just a guy that lost weight eating sandwiches. It just blows my mind to this day, like, the phenomenon of Jared. Did you? I was influenced by Jared? No, I've never seen it. It's wild. I think that marketing campaign really did a lot for Subway. Because that was during the five foot. Those, foot five dollar foot long. Five dollar foot. Uh, those five things, dollar foot those <laughs> things do not continue without being successful. You know what I'm saying? The, a campaign. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
He was their spokesman for 15 years. I ate years. a lot of Subway during those years. Yeah. And it wasn't healthy Subway either. No, <laughs> you got you had the Germain Subway. I got, I was, yeah. I got They didn't need Germain. Yeah. <laughs> they, had, they had Ethan doing it. Yeah. <laughs>